Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video on The Flash Season 8. Today we've got some major breaking news to break down and talk about, so if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment, and subscribe if you are new so you don't miss any DC TV videos later this year. Okay, so just as a mini reminder, if you've missed the last few videos, basically I've been putting in this announcement. Basically, if you want to become a member of the channel right now, now is the perfect time, because we are introducing a new perk to all members who join the channel, and this is the monthly Arrowverse DVD giveaway. Whoever is the winner of each month will get to choose a specific season that they want on DVD. I'll send it to the winner. And this is going to be a thing that's going on all year, every year, every month. So if that's something that interests you and you want to support the channel and also be able to join our monthly member Zoom calls, talking with me and your fellow members, click the join button to become a member today. It's right next to the subscribe button. You have to be on your computer to do it because for some reason YouTube doesn't have a join button on phones. But yeah, that's my mini announcement that I've, that I've talked about in the last couple of videos. But for now, let's go ahead and get into today's main topic. So this is all coming from Canada Graph, so go follow his blog, go check it out, there's loads of extra photos. Obviously we're going to bring up some in this video, but there is so many more that I think you guys are going to be interested in. So go check out the blog, that'll be in the link in the description below. Also follow him on Twitter if you want to stay up to date with the latest happening in Vancouver in regards to the Arrowverse shows. So yeah, well this is sort of broke the internet once again. Another thing from the Flash Season 8 crossover, which is promising to be a huge event. I mean, we've got so many characters showing up from all the different shows. There's been so much spoilers going around, like Grant was wearing a different version of the Flash suit, which was a reverse Flash suit. What is going on there? We've been theorizing about that. You can check out my recent videos where we talked about those. But today's video is something that's been a long time coming, and we knew we would eventually get round to talking about this. However, now is the time, and I didn't know it would be this specific season, but we were expecting it, and that is the Golden Boots. So, yes, it's official, guys. The Flash is getting his Golden Boots. It was spotted on the set just last night, so time to freak out. So, obviously, this is very coin book accurate, and fans are going to be excited. This has been something that has been teased for a long, long time. I mean, Eric Wallace last year actually teased that they had maybe plans to introduce the Golden Boots at some point. And this was at DC Fandom, obviously DC Fandom is coming up this upcoming weekend. So pretty much in a week we're going to get the Flash panel at DC Fandom. They're going to give us some teasers about what's happening in this season and, you know, the Armageddon crossover. Which is very exciting because The Flash is going to be premiering episode 1 of season 8 in November. So in just over a month's time The Flash is coming back, which is so exciting. Obviously we'll also get a trailer there, so don't go anywhere and make sure to turn on notifications to not miss anything. But let's go ahead and break down The Flash with gold boots and what happened on the set. So I'm just going to read over some of Canada Graphs' blog and he wrote down some notes about what happened during the filming. This is how it goes. The Flash is on location for the Season 8 crossover Armageddon. They were filming in the exact same spot I caught them a couple of crossovers ago with Elseworlds. But last night the scene only had two actors, but the spoiler from it is one has garnered even more attention than I think that one did. And so Grant Gustin as The Flash did a scene with Tony Coran as the human form of Despero, the villain of the crossover. In the battle, Grant seems to emerge from out of a cloud of smoke while Despero is on the ground. At one point Despero does something that causes a car to explode, but much of the fight seems to have Despero on the ground. For once, the Flash seems to have the upper hand. That was all there really was during that scene, I can't recall anything else of note. So that's it for this blog, but wait, no, I think I remember something else. But wait, did I forget to mention Barry had a change to his wardrobe, silly me. So he had gold boots. So that pretty much wraps up Canada Grouse's blog. It gives us some detail about the fight scene between The Flash and also Despero. So there's actually not that much to break down in regards to the fight scene. It's just like a normal fight. It's the human version of Despero. He's not the massive alien version of himself that we're going to be seeing in the crossover. But the two of them do have a fight. And in this scene, yes, The Flash does have his costume upgrade and he's got the gold boots. So why does he have the gold boots and what could be the reason for this wardrobe upgrade? Well, we know that Ryan Choi is in this crossover. Just last week we got photos of Osric Chow, who plays Ryan Choi and appeared for the first time in Crisis on Infinite Earths. 
he actually showed up on set in a new Atom costume. And so it seems with his return, and you guys have to remember, Ryan Choi is credited as the one who in the future creates Barry's new costume and also created the Flash Ring. So it would make sense with him around, he is the one to give the upgrade instead of Cisco. This time it's Ryan Choi who gives Barry the upgrade on the suit. I don't know if it's some sort of new Flash Ring that he gives him or anything along those lines, but the suit is pretty much the same apart from the golden boots and so something definitely triggers the change I don't know what it is is it some link to maybe the original timeline flash and you know all those different versions of the flash that maybe at some point had the gold boots because you know I reckon out there in the multiverse there is lots of different versions of Barry and you know they probably a lot of them have gold boots if you think about it in that way in sort of like the multiverse scope obviously we haven't met those people but what happens if you know, this was always meant to be, and it seems like this is what Eric Wallace was teasing, that Barry would eventually sort of earn his golden boots. It's supposed to be like a big deal for him, and I think it is a big deal. He's going to be fighting Despero, who seems to be like a really great threat for him. And so for some reason, there is a need for this upgrade. But anyway, what do you guys think about this? Are you freaking out? Are you excited? I mean, it's not the most surprising thing ever, but it's great to see it actually happening because it's been teased for so long. As I mentioned, Eric Wallace mentioned this back at DC Fandom last year, and I reckon with this getting so much traction online, like, I mean, the Twitterverse in regards to The Flash has been blowing up with people just talking about this. I'm sure they are aware that people have seen the Golden Boots, so it's possible at DC Fandom they will even touch upon a potential suit upgrade like this. Okay, so obviously you've seen the photos as they've been flicking through throughout this video whilst I've been talking about Canada Ruffs' blog and also some theories. I'm gonna be breaking down the photos now. So the first photo I have is this, and this photo showcases Barry, and obviously this is just him in his normal flash suit, but if we look down at this other photo, you can see the gold boots nice and close up. Now, I don't know if there's any change in material or anything different, but it seems a little bit different, although it's pretty much similar to the kind of style that Barry had before with his red boots. It looks like a kind of trainer, but with like a big kind of zip up thing where it goes up pretty high and it's just painted or colored gold. And people were worried that in live action it would look a bit goofy. I actually think this looks really good from just these photos. Obviously we need to wait and see it actually in action. Does it look cool or not? But I have faith because from these photos, I think it looks really awesome and it does work because he has the gold elsewhere on his suit, you know, on the belt, you know, around the arm, around the waist and also on his earpieces, it's all pretty much the exact same shade of gold, that it works really well as a contrast to the red of the costume. And as Canagraphs mentioned, there was a scene where basically Barry came out of some smoke, you can see this right here, and you can see him here emerging from the smoke, and you got a whole body shot of his whole suit, and I think his suit looks absolutely awesome, as I've mentioned, and I'm gonna keep on mentioning it until we finish this video, because it's so cool. Here is another angle, this is Barry, and you can see from the side view, the boots look awesome once again, and moving on from that, we've got a shot of Despero right here, he is on the ground, and as Canagross mentioned, it seems like Barry is actually triumphant during this fight, because Despero is on the ground for the predominant part of when they were shooting, so I don't know why Despero is in his human form, is there a proper good explanation for that? However, it seems like he is less powerful than when he is his normal alien self. And so, another awesome photo, and I have to give Canada Grouse props for this because this is amazing. This is Barry literally emerging out of the smoke, and obviously he's got his cool gold boots on, and he's got the whole costume. I think this is just classic comic book, classic Flash, and it just looks absolutely stunning. Okay, so one last final photo. We have Grant here. Full costume, this is a photo from in front, and you can just tell, it looks so, so good. And so tell me guys, are you freaking out? Are you excited to finally see the gold boots? And what do you think the circumstances are around him getting them? Do you agree with me because Ryan Choi is showing up? Do you think that he is the one to give him an upgrade? Potentially he's going to give him like a new flash ring. Or he might just be like, oh, here's some cool boots I came up with for you. Let me know all your theories in the comments down below. But for now, 
If you did enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment. It really helps out the video if you do that. Also, subscribe and turn on notifications if you're new to not miss any videos. You can click on the top right corner of the screen to watch my latest video. And remember guys, join and become a member of the channel today if you want to have access to the new giveaway perk. And also join our monthly member Zoom call, which is going to be sometime in the next few days. We are just currently working out what time works best for all the members. But for now, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll catch you guys later. Goodbye. I see red.